Hi, I'm Ron Pars from PowerPools.com, and today we're going to talk about an odd uh, problem that is, is often confused with another pool issue. The pool issue that, that we're going to talk about is called purple cyanurate, and purple cyanurate is often confused with pink slime, but the fact of the matter is purple cyanurate is not pink slime. Pink slime is organic and it's animal whereas purple cyanurate is a result of a chemical reaction. Pink slime is pink. Purple cyanurate is exactly that. It is purple. Pink slime can be brushed or scraped off of wherever it happens to be. Purple cyanurate it appears to be and appears to look like a permanent stain. Purple cyanurate can also look like almost crystals. Uh, that's what we have seen, that, that's what uh, customers have described to us in photographs that they've sent in, as, as you're looking at. Purple cyanurate is a reaction between cyanuric acid, or pool stabilizer or conditioner, and any copper that might be in the pool water. Furthermore, it's, it seems to be caused by, or be driven by, um, high, cyanur high cyanuric acid level, a cyanuric acid level that would be about 100 parts per million or higher, a high copper level, which would be 0.5 parts per million or higher, and then you also would throw in a high pH and a high total alkalinity. Now since the problem is often seen, or most likely seen, at spring opening, it, there seems to be a correlation with cold water as well. We're not 100% sure about that. Anyway, when we have these issues of high cyanuric acid level and high copper and high pH and high total alkalinity, that is the perfect storm to cause this problem or this condition called purple cyanuric. There's not too much you can do. When it happens, it will happen. But you can prevent it, and that's what we're going to talk about. When you do have it, or you do notice it in, in the pool, you will see purple stains. And they will be in virtually many, many places around the pool. The only way to take care of it is to, number one, find out what the total alkalinity is, what the, what the uh, pH is, what the cyanuric acid level is, what the copper is. And then you need to do a partial drain and refill. And a partial drain can be from anywhere from about 25% of the water in the pool to up to about 50 to 60% of the water that is in the pool. And you need to put in fresh. When we talk about cyanuric acid, we, I, I mentioned on, on several videos that need for watching that level. And when you do do a test, that you test the cyanuric acid level. But also, especially when people typically add cyanuric acid or stabilizer or conditioner, they do it automatically every spring because they believe that they have to. That's one of the worst things you can do. So, as we mentioned in our, in our pool opening video, it's a good idea to open the pool, let the filter run for a couple of days, make sure that the water has circulated really, really well, and then take a water sample from about elbow's depth and, and have it tested. If your cyanuric acid level is at 30 or higher, do not add cyanuric acid. Do not add stabilizer, do not add conditioner. Only when it drops to about 20 or below, that is the only time you would add it. Also keep in mind that if you're using a, a, uh, a stabilized chlorine, such as long-lasting sticks or tablets, those are automatically going to put cyanuric acid into your pool as you go throughout the season. So let's, let's go back and, and take care of, of this problem. We first said that we want to do a partial drain and refill. So start out with about 25% of the water, recirculate it, recheck it, retest it. If it's still above uh, 100 part per million, do another partial drain and refill until you get that cyanuric acid level down to uh, hopefully somewhere in the 40 part per million range. 
the other things that you want to do is you want to rebalance the, the pH and the total alkalinity to their proper levels. Your pH should be maintained at 7.4 to 7.6 and your total alkalinity is somewhere between 80 and 120 to 130, maybe 140. Those are, those are certain parameters that, that you do have to follow. Eventually, I can tell you from experience that this purple staining of the purple cyanurate, it will dissipate. It will dissipate on its own as the water gets back into balance. Let's talk about copper quickly. Copper comes from a variety of, of places. It can come from your source water. It can come from your pool heater if your pool is equipped with one. Most additional copper comes in the form of copper algicides and, and copper, copper products that are added into the pool. So those in combination with stabilized chlorine can eventually lead to this kind of, kind of problem. How do you prevent this from happening? As we mentioned, only add cyanuric acid when the, when the, when the level is, is under 20 part per million. Also, make sure that you circulate the pool properly so that you get a proper test. Also, you can avoid using copper-based products when you are using stabilized chlorine. As always, maintain good water balance. That's proper pH, proper total alkalinity, proper calcium hardness. I hope that that clears up a whole bunch of questions and a whole bunch of misunderstandings of, of what you are treating so that you can treat a pink slime problem for what it really is. But if you have a purple cyanurate problem, now you know what to do also. For further information, you can contact me via email at uh, techhelp at powerpools.com. You can also call me toll free at 866-385-4930. You can also visit our website at powerpools.com forward slash pool care. Thanks for watching. Have a great summer.